In this video, I wanna show you how we can automatically create and send personalized emails to our clients on their birthday or other special occasion. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so let's pretend I'm a business owner with a bunch of different clients that I have listed right here in an Airtable database. Now, you don't have to have it in an Airtable database. You could have it in any other CRM, Pipedrive, HubSpot, Salesforce, whatever. The idea here is going to be the same and you can still follow along in this video. But for the sake of this video, in my Airtable database, I have name of my client, the organization they work for, my client's email, my client's birthday or anniversary or other date you're tracking, doesn't have to be birthday. And then I just have some notes here on my clients, things that I wanna remember for the next time that I talk to them, that I don't forget, the names of their kids, et cetera, et cetera. Things that are important to them that can help me maintain my relationship with them. What I wanna do is every year on my client's birthday or other special occasion, anniversary, et cetera, whatever, I want automatically ChatGPT to write and then send an email to my client to make sure that they know I'm thinking about them. So let me show you how we're gonna do this very quickly. It's not that hard, here we go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna come out here and we're gonna add a formula field. And basically the idea of this formula field is we just need a field that is going to tell us when it is one of our client's birthdays. All right, so I'm gonna paste in this formula here, all right, which I will have pasted down in the description below. I'm gonna hit create field. And now we can see that I'm recording this on May 7th. So I know that Luke Skywalker, it's his birthday today. All right, and it'll just toggle out here. Yes, no, no. And if I change Stuart Little here to 5-7, well, we can see that now it is his birthday as well. So this formula just tells us yes, if it's someone's birthday or no, if it's not, which we're gonna need later in this video. Now, step number two is we're gonna come into make.com and we're gonna create a new scenario. We call it birthday automation email. All right, first I'm just gonna add an Airtable module right here. And I'm going to choose search records, all right. I'm going to link my Airtable account. I'm going to choose the correct database, the correct table that I have all my clients in. And then uh, I'm going to select all fields. I wanna pull all fields in. So I wanna pull in the name, the organization, the email, the birthday, my notes, etc., and the calculation field that we just built. In this formula field, I basically want to filter my results into make.com. I don't want to pull in every client to make.com if it's not their birthday. I only want to pull the people in whose birthday it is. So I'm just going to add a bracket here and I'm just going to do calculation because that's the name of my field out here, my formula field. All right. If you've named this something else, type that in between these brackets. So calculation equals yes. All right. So basically, Anyone who has a yes in that field or anyone whose birthday it is, is going to be pulled into our Airtable module right here. Limit, I'll bump it up to 100. You know, depending on how many clients you have, you might need to go up a little bit, but I'll hit okay. All right, I'll hit run once just to see if this thing is working. And it looks like good. We're pulling in Luke Skywalker right here. We're pulling in his name, his birthday, my notes on him, et cetera, et cetera, and his email, okay? So that is looking good. Next. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another module here and it's going to be the OpenAI module, all right? I'm gonna hit create a completion. I want to link to my OpenAI account. Now keep in mind, in order to make these API calls, you're gonna have to be on a paid OpenAI plan. I'm gonna hit create a prompt completion. My model is gonna be text DaVinci 3. My prompt is gonna be something along the lines of, write me a happy birthday email for my friend, and then I'll just choose Luke's name. So it'll be his name today, tomorrow on someone else's birthday, it'll be their name. Keep it warm and friendly. And then maybe, you know, keep in mind that, and then I'll link to my notes, my notes field back here, just so that OpenAI has some kind of context around our relationship that it can add to the email. Um, and then that should be good. We'll just see how that works. I'll come to advanced settings here. Max tokens, 1024 or so. Temperature of 0.9, just to make sure it's not so robotic. And then I'll hit okay. All right, and then I'll hit run once just to test this out, make sure everything's working. So we're pulling in Luke. Perfect, we're pulling in Luke from Airtable. OpenAI, ChatGPT is writing our email for us right now. And perfect, we have a little output right here. We can see and make sure it's writing an email for us which it is, so that's perfect. Awesome. Now, the last step we wanna do is we want to add one more module. This time it will be the Gmail module. I'm using Gmail in this video. You can use any other email service you want. 
Um, they have a bunch of them here in make.com. I'll do Gmail for now. I'm going to hit send an email. Now you want to connect your Gmail account to make.com. This is actually kind of a long process to do. You have to go through this whole checklist of steps in the Google cloud settings. I will have an article linked down below so that you can walk through that. Um, for this video though, I've already got it set up. So connect your Gmail account. If you're using Gmail, I'm going to add a recipient and here I'm just going to link to uh, Luke Skywalker's email. The subject will be something along the lines of happy birthday, Luke. So we'll just select his name here, exclamation point. The content is going to be the text that we just got from ChatGPT. All right, and we'll hit OK. And now we should be pretty well set up. Let's hit save here and then we'll come and test this bad boy out. So I'll come back into Airtable and I'm just going to change the birthday here of Kevin McAllister. All right, just so we have two examples here and we'll wait for our formula to update here. But we can see that it's Luke's birthday and it's Kevin's birthday. So I come back to make and I hit run. Looks like we pulled in both of those records from Airtable. ChatGPT is currently writing our email for us. And when that is done, Gmail will send those emails to both of their respective email addresses and we'll have an automated client outreach system set up. All right, awesome. So that looks done. We'll come to Gmail here and we'll go to sent and we can see that we have two emails here. The first is for Luke. Dear Luke, happy birthday. May the force be with you on this special day. Today's an extra special day because it's the day you're born. It's been a pleasure watching you grow over the years and become the amazing person you are today. Yada, yada, yada. I just yada, yada over the best part, but who cares? This is pretty awesome. Now, obviously we gotta clean some things up here. We don't want like your name here. Um, so we can go back into our prompt back here and you know we can type in, don't add any of that stuff in, but you get the point. But we'll come back here and we'll check out our Kevin McAllister email because it's just sent both of these. Hi, Kevin, happy birthday. Today's your special day and I know it's gonna be a great one, blah, blah, blah. You're gonna spend it doing all the things you love like building and inventing, playing the piano, sledding outdoors and playing with your pet tarantula. So you can see all that kind of custom text there is coming in from that notes field that we're kind of keeping for all of our clients as we build our relationships for them. So that's it guys. It was just that easy to set up an automated client outreach workflow for all of our client special occasions. This should save us a ton of time on a daily and weekly basis so that we can spend less time working and managing those relationships and more time creating value for our clients. If you like this video, go down and smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. That would be awesome. Thank you guys so, so much for being here and I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.